All right, uh, hello and welcome to the Portal 2 speedrun setup guide. Uh, this video covers a lot of information. I'll try to keep it as simple as possible, but if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to check out our Discord server, linked in the description. There are two channels that uh, might help you out if you have any questions. There's the resources channel uh, that has a bunch of great getting started resources and also a help FAQ channel, which answers a bunch of frequently asked questions. Uh, if you have a, a question that's more specific. Uh, if your answer isn't in, in here, then you can go over to the actual help channel and start up a thread with your specific question. All right, uh, without further ado then, uh, let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna be downloading is Source Auto Record or SAR. Uh, SAR is a plugin for Portal 2 that uh, adds in a bunch of useful quality of life features. Uh, as well as a bunch of features for speedrunning. So uh, it is a very nice resource to have. Uh, to download SAR, we're going to head over to the installation section. And there are two downloads for Windows and Linux. Uh, unfortunately, SAR doesn't support Mac. So if you're on Mac, sorry. Uh, uh, depending on what uh, operating system you're on, uh, depends on which download you're going to click. I am on Windows, so I'm going to be clicking on the latest pre-release for 1.12.8. Uh, as of currently, uh, the latest release and latest pre-release are the same, version 1.12.8, however, these may be different uh, as you're watching this video. It is recommended that you download the latest pre-release though, as oftentimes they could have features or bug, or bug fixes that aren't in the main release. So we're going to download the pre-release and just put it on the desktop for now. Now that SARS are on our desktop, we have to install it onto our Portal 2 game. So we're going to open up Steam, uh, head over to Portal 2. We're going to click on the settings icon from manage, go down to manage, and then browse local files. And that'll open up your file explorer with uh, all your Portal 2 game files. We're simply going to drag and drop the SAR file into the base Portal 2 folder. Now, if we open up Portal 2, you'll see that not much is different. Uh, if we go into the developer console here by pressing the tilde key, uh, which is to the left of the one key, uh, there isn't much in there that shouldn't be, and that's because even though SAR is installed, we haven't loaded it yet. Uh, to load SAR, we run the command plugin underscore load space SAR for SAR. It'll say loaded source auto record with the version number, and then you can run the command SAR underscore about to get some general information about the plugin. Now, SAR is open source on GitHub, and I'll link this in the description, and Going down to the readme section, there's nothing too, too important in here, except for the very bottom where it says console commands and variables. If we open this up, you'll get a doc of every single command that SAR offers, as well as its default value and a description. Uh, you could read through these if you like. You won't need to use 98% of these commands. Um, but it is just nice to know that uh, there is this resource here if you're curious about uh, what SAR has. So while SAR on its own can be used for speedrunning, uh, you would need to set all the commands up yourself. There is a nice little set of files that does all the actual setup for you. Uh, it's called srconfigs. I'll link it in the description below. And it's a pre-made set of config files that sets up Portal 2 for speedrunning with SAR. So to download, we're going to head to the right side of the screen here where it says releases. For me, the latest release is 0.9.0. .0. We're going to click on that release and download the zip file. And I'm just going to place that on my desktop. Like before, we're going to go into the Portal 2 game files. We're going to go into these lowercase Portal 2 folder. And then CFG. And in here is where we're going to be installing as our configs. We're going to open up the zip file that we downloaded. Open up the SR config 0.9 folder. Or whatever version you have. And all of these files, we're going to drag it into the CFG folder. You know you've installed a SAR configs correctly if your file structure looks like this. Inside of the Portal 2, Portal 2 CFG folder, you have the folders cats, chapter cats, dialog toasts, map detect, map list, M triggers, as well as a couple of new files. We can now go and open up Portal 2 once again. You'll notice right away that nothing looks too different, except that if we open up the console by using the tilde key, 
you'll notice a couple new lines here. All that gibberish that was on the console before has been cleared out, and uh, some information about both SR configs and SAR is displayed on screen. If you see this in the console, then you know that SR configs has been installed correctly. So, what can SR configs do? Uh, the first thing, I'm going to uh, go into a random single player map here. You'll notice at the top left of your screen, there is now a HUD. It has your position, angle, and your velocity, which is incredibly useful for some tricks. It's highly recommended that you keep this on. If you don't like how it looks, you could change the font with SAR underscore HUD underscore font index. So let's say I like font 5. Do that, and it changes how the font looks. There's also demos recording. You'll notice it says demo at the bottom of the HUD there. Demos are a form of replay that uh, most Source games have and most Source games use. Uh, for Portal 2 speedruns, we use them as a form of proof, uh, as they are much lighter uh, in terms of storage size, and also give a lot more information than videos. So demos are automatically recorded, and uh, they will continue to be recorded up until you finish a run. If I quit back to menu here and go into challenge mode, let's just go into a random map. You'll notice at the top of the screen it says ghost server. Uh, the ghost server is one of SAR's many features. And if you're familiar with a racing game, how you could play against your past ghosts, it's very, very similar to that, except uh, live against other players around the world. So if I press uh, Y to enable it, you'll see there is one other player connected. Uh, I can actually check who that is with the command ghost underscore list. Fifth one. Cool. Uh, you'll also notice in challenge mode there's an attempt counter on the top left. So this is my first attempt on the map. So let's say if I complete this run here. To help you remain true. So once I finish this run, you'll notice that the console opens. The demo here at the top left stops, and you'll notice these, uh, what are essentially splits or your times, are posted here in console. They are posted, uh, they are sent here as you're doing the run, and here's a little recap once you've finished. SR Configs has a lot, lot more features that I can't really get into in this video, but you can check out all of them by going to the GitHub page, which I'll leave linked in the description, of course. If you scroll down to the Read Me, then it'll give you a good uh, read through on everything that SR Configs has to offer. It should be fairly simple to read, but again, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the Discord server. All right, so we have SAR set up, we have SR Config set up. There's only one more thing that we have to do, and that is to set up keybinds. Now, the default keybinds are fine for the most part. You could walk around, you could jump, you could shoot portals, but there's a lot of handy util stuff that you might need. So I'm going to leave this link uh, down in the description for P2 Binder. It's a nice little utility that allows you to set all your binds in this nice GUI instead of having to do anything through console commands. You'll notice that some binds are set already. For example, W is set to forward or control is set to crouch, but these gray keys here are all unbound, so you could set these to be whatever you want here in this list. There are three types of controls. There's player, toggle binds, hold binds, and miscellaneous. Player control and miscellaneous is fairly simple, uh, but toggle and hold, they are the same options, but different titles. If we go back into the SR Configs readme that I mentioned earlier, go down into the binds section, You'll notice that there are these binds here for dialog toggle, funneling toggle, Fulbright toggle, etc. They all have little descriptions on them. Uh, there are two modes to enable all of these different commands. You could toggle a key, so you could press it once to enable and press the key again to disable. Or you could use a hold key, uh, where you hold down the button for the command to be activated. And that's what these two different modes are here. So let's say I want my one key to toggle uh, Fulbright, my two key to toggle uh, low sensitivity, and my three key to toggle cont times. Uh, you'll learn more about all these binds, uh, well, all these commands and what they do later in the tutorials, but uh, most of them aren't uh, that necessary. 
So once you set up your binds how you like them, you could click on the generate button here at the bottom and it will generate a file called init underscore binds dot CFG. We're going to save that file. I just have it on my desktop again. We're going to go back into our portal to game files. We're going to go into the lowercase portal two folder, then the CFG folder, and we're going to be placing our init binds file into here. Now, if we open up portal two, we could run the command exec init underscore binds and it'll say binds configured have fun. So if we open up a map in challenge mode here, you'll be able to see that our binds all work as intended. Great. That's pretty much everything for setup. Now what we have to do is start a run. So starting a speed run is quite simple. However, there is a little bit of setup if you want to run single player or challenge mode. So what we're going to be doing for single player is we're going to be heading to the speedrun.com page for Portal 2, heading to the resources tab. I'll have this linked in the description. And we're going to scroll down to the saves section. We're going to download the save labeled vault save. Download it and place it on our desktop. So inside of this vault save zip file, there's a file titled vault.sav. And we'll be putting this inside of our game folder here. So let's open up the game file. In our base portal two folder, we're gonna go into the lowercase portal two folder, the save folder. And there should be a folder with a bunch of numbers. These bunch of numbers represent your Steam ID. Open up that folder and place vault.save into there. I already have it installed, so I'll just replace it. Now, if we open up Portal 2 and entering a random single player map here, not challenge mode, we could simply, oops, we could simply run the command do underscore reset. And that command will restart the game, load up the vault save, which you'll notice is uh, after the whole motel sequence where we meet, where we meet Wheatley. Two, one. And at the bottom of the screen, it'll say speedrun started. Starting a co-op run is much easier than starting a single player run. You don't need to install anything else. You just need to make sure that both you and your partner have both SAR and SR configs installed. So I'm going to invite my partner over to co-op. There you go. Welcome to the computer intelligence training and enrichment. And once we load in, I'm going to open up console and run do underscore reset. The game will reload for both of us. And after the loading screen, we'll be sent into the starting calibration cutscene. At which point you could run the command stop videos to skip the cutscene and start the run. Now running challenge mode, whether that be single player or co-op, does require a bit of setup as well. So we're going to open up the browser and go to the website board.portal2.sr. This is our individual leaderboard or challenge mode leaderboards page. And uh, this is also where we get our key so that we could have automatically submitted runs. So we're going to sign in through Steam. And you'll notice we get sent to our profile page here. We're going to go up to the top right and go to edit profile. And you'll notice that there's an auth hash here at the bottom left. If you don't see a hash code, you might need to regenerate it. And then afterwards, click copy. Now, don't share this code with anyone as uh, it'll allow them to upload runs on your behalf, which is cheating. Once again, we're going to go into the Portal 2 game files. And this time, inside of the base Portal 2 folder, we're going to create a new text file. So right click, new text document, and we're going to call it auto submit underscore key. Inside of this auto submit key file, we're going to be pasting in that API key that we copied from the board's website, saving the file, and then closing it. Now, when we open up Portal 2, 
you could run the command sar underscore challenge and you'll notice it uh, auto auto filled in there sar challenge auto submit reload api key it's a pretty long command but when we run it it'll say api key testing and then api key valid if it says this then you're ready to play challenge mode so now if we go to challenge mode let's just go to any map here and complete a run You'll notice that in console, at least for me, it'll say not PV, not submitting, because the time that I just got isn't my PV. Uh, but if this time was your PV, it would say submitting your PV. And your new time would show up on the board.portal2.sr website automatically. If you're running full game, single player, or co-op, then you might want to track all your times using a program called LiveSplit. I'll leave a link to this page down in the description, and we're going to be downloading live splits just with this top link here. Place on the desktop. And if we're going to be tracking our times, then we also want a file or a splits file to track our times with. So we're going to go back to the resources page on speedrun.com, go over to the splits file or the splits section, and download the single player splits or co op splits depending on what you're running. Uh, for live split. If you're using Linux, then you would want to download a drift. Uh, you should ask in the P2SR Discord about that, though. So we're going to download the splits file as well as live split itself. Once both files have finished downloading, we are going to right click and extract the live split into a new folder. And do the exact same thing with the splits file. You're first going to open up the live split folder and run the live split.exe. Once that's open, you'll notice a timer on screen here. To get the portal to file, we're going to right click, go to open splits from file. We're going to head to the portal to single player splits folder that we downloaded or come up. You'll see full game and chapter splits. Uh, chapter splits are for people that want to run individual chapters, but we're going to do full game here. And the main category is, for single player at least, is uh, no SLA. So we're going to run that. You'll notice that now there is one section for each map in the game. And the last two things that we need to do for live split setup is go to right click, edit splits, and make sure that the game time and auto splitting is activated. So if your button says activate, click it so that we have access to the settings. The settings should look like this. I'm going to quit out of this menu, and we are also going to right-click, compare against, game time. So now, if I open up Portal 2, go into the console, and run the command do underscore reset. Running do reset from the menu boots you into single player, by the way. The portal will open and emergency test. You'll notice that once this portal opens, the timer on the bottom right in live split will also start. It starts at a time of five minutes because that's the time of the cutscene that the uh, that the save file that we've downloaded earlier saves. So now if I go and finish the map here, you'll notice if you look at the splits file, that the timer will pause, the uh, current split will switch over to the next map, and the timer will resume. Finally, if you're curious about running mods like Portal Stories Mel, Portal Reloaded, or Portal 2 Speedrun mod, I highly, highly recommend you check out this video on our YouTube channel for a common folder. I'll have a link in the description and uh, in a card at the top right. Uh, a common folder allows you to have only one folder to where all your SR configs files and all your SAR files will go, so you don't need to keep reinstalling them for each and every mod that you plan to run. It's quite nice to have, and uh, it's not too hard of a setup either. With that, that concludes everything that I want to say about setting up Portal 2 for speedruns. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to visit the Portal 2 speedruns Discord and ask in our help channels. Uh, we'll be happy to help, and... Uh, 
enjoy speedrunning.